Hey, Dr. Quinn, is it a good idea to get that flu shot right now? We're already in the midst of a pandemic. We're not going outside anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's understood that, you know, right now we are in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic and it's a very serious thing. But at the same time, we have to remember that the flu is something we don't want to forget about. I mean, I'm reading from the CDC website and it was estimated last year that 35 million people got sick from the flu. 16.5 million people visited doctor's offices. And remember, in this pandemic, Right now, our doctor's offices are full. The emergency rooms, the intensive care, um, 490,000 hospitalizations. And remember, our hospitals are at full capacity almost right now. And we also had 34,000 deaths. I mean, that, that's very serious. So this is something we don't want to forget. And the flu can actually be greatly decreased in the likelihood of getting the flu by just getting a simple flu vaccination. Uh, speaking of the flu shot and, and the pandemic, what do you do if you're showing signs of COVID-19 or if you've tested positive? Is it safe to go ahead and get the flu shot anyway? Well, well here's the deal. This is what you don't want. There is research out there, and it's showing that people can get what's called a co-infection, or they'll get both, where you can get the flu and COVID-19 at the same time. And our immune systems, they, they fight very hard to fight off this COVID-19. But if you have the flu and COVID-19, then your immune system has to work double hard. It's really a good idea to go ahead and get that flu shot to avoid getting the flu so you can avoid getting both infections. Um, as far as getting the flu shot while you are currently um, sick with COVID-19, that's not yet out. Because remember, COVID-19 is a very new uh, infection that we're dealing with and a lot of information is coming every day. So I advise if you have that question, maybe ask your uh, medical uh, provider to be specific, but the take home is let's get that flu vaccination. And the best thing to do is while you're still healthy and don't have either, get the flu shot while you have the chance. That is correct. And as far as the symptoms, the symptoms of the flu and COVID-19 are very similar. They're more, mostly upper respiratory tract symptoms with fever, chills, cough, headache, um, body aches. But one distinction that I noted in, in, in researching this topic, people with COVID-19 tend to have decreased uh, sense of taste and smell but people that have the flu, that's not a very ca common characteristic. So that's one way we doctors can try to di differentiate. But still, if you start having these symptoms, go ahead and get checked out because the, the news is if you get diagnosed, you can go ahead and start treatment for the flu. But also if you get diagnosed with COVID-19, we can separate you from the population because we have to decrease spread right now. Yeah. Uh, is the flu shot available yet? Is it out? It's coming out. It, it's in the process. Different people are getting it uh, by the day. I'm expecting my uh, my supply any day now, and it is coming, but it should. Most clinics are getting it. So the best thing to do is if you have a medical home, go ahead and give your medical home a call. You can even call Walgreens. You can get the flu shot without even having to go to the doctor from Walgreens or Walmart or some of the pharmacies. But the take home is the CDC is highly advising everyone six months and older to go ahead and get that flu vaccination because with with the the healthcare system stretched so thin COVID-19 pandemic it makes no sense not to do anything you can to help prevent yourself from getting sick especially during this this terrible coronavirus pandemic uh, you made a believer out of me thank you Dr. Quinn we'll go ahead and line up that flu shot as soon as possible thank you for dropping in on Great. us today thank you and Jade back to you